In this video, I'll talk about uh, one way of measuring the enthalpy and entropy contributions, the standard enthalpy and entropy contributions uh, to the free energy change. Uh, and that is using the Van Hoff equation. Uh, the, the main idea is that you measure the equilibrium constant at different temperatures, and then you plot them. So here is the thoughts behind that. So here's your expression for the standard Gibbs free energy change. Uh, that can be, the free energy change can be gotten from the equilibrium constant. And that means I can rewrite this expression. So the natural uh, log of K is this function of the temperature. Okay, or one over the temperature. So for example, if I measure K at three different temperatures, right? I plot the natural log of K versus 1 over the temperature, and of course here I have to use Kelvin, then I'll get a straight line. That's what this equation tells me. Of course that assumes that both the standard enthalpy change and entropy change are independent of temperature, but in general that's a good approximation for relatively small changes in temperature. I'll get a straight line. The slope of this line is minus h is delta h standard divided by r and the intercept so when this when 1 over t is 0 the intercept will give me the entropy standard entropy change divided by r okay so i make the plot i const uh, and then i read off the enthalpy change from the slope and the entropy change from the intercept. I have to remember when I do this that because I'm plotting 1 over t, right, this region corresponds to a high temperature and this region out here corresponds to a low temperature. Okay, so here's a question for you. Here is a, the Van Hove plot I showed you before on the previous slide and from this you have to tell me whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic. So press pause, think about it, and when you're ready for the answer, press play. Ready? Okay, so the answer here is exothermic. How do I know that? Well, the slope is positive, right? but the slope is minus the enthalpy change. Right? So the enthalpy, because the slope is positive, that means that the enthalpy change is negative. And if the enthalpy change is negative, then that means I have an exothermic reaction. Okay, let's do one more. If the reaction is endothermic, what happens to the equilibrium constant when the temperature increases? So press pause, think about it, and when you're ready to answer, press play. Ready? Okay, so the equilibrium constant increases as the temperature increases. So again, why is that? Well, it's an endothermic process, so that means delta H standard is positive. If delta H standard is positive, that means that the slope of my plot is negative. Right? So the line has to go like this. Right? And so that means that as the temperature increases, right, that means 1 over T decreases, right, then my equilibrium constant increases. 